Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture on histology and the cardiovascular system. Today, we will explore various topics related to cardiovascular disorders and physiological processes. We will delve into the intricate details of each topic, providing a comprehensive understanding of the subject matter. So, let's begin. Atherosclerosis is a complex and multifactorial disease characterized by the accumulation of lipids, inflammatory cells, smooth muscle cells, and connective tissue within the arterial wall. It leads to the formation of atherosclerotic plaques, which can result in various complications such as myocardial infarction and stroke. The process of atherosclerosis initiates with damage to the endothelial lining of blood vessels, triggering an inflammatory response. Endothelial dysfunction plays a crucial role in the development and progression of cardiovascular diseases. The endothelium, which lines the inner surface of blood vessels, controls vascular tone, platelet activity, leukocyte adhesion, and smooth muscle cell proliferation. Dysfunctional endothelial cells produce pro-inflammatory molecules, vasoconstrictors, and reduce the bioavailability of vasodilators such as nitric oxide. This imbalance in endothelial function contributes to the pathogenesis of hypertension and atherosclerosis. Hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, imposes an increased workload on the heart, leading to cardiac remodeling. Chronic pressure overload triggers hypertrophic growth of cardiomyocytes, resulting in structural and functional changes in the heart. These changes include myocardial hypertrophy, fibrosis, alterations in calcium handling, and abnormalities in electrical conduction. Cardiac remodeling and hypertension has detrimental effects on cardiac function and can ultimately lead to heart failure. Ventricular hypertrophy refers to the thickening of the ventricular walls in response to increased pressure or volume overload. It is commonly observed in conditions such as hypertension, valvular heart diseases, and congenital heart defects. In ventricular hypertrophy, there is an increase in cardiomyocyte size, enhanced protein synthesis, and alterations in gene expression. Additionally, the extracellular matrix undergoes remodeling, resulting in fibrosis and impairing cardiac function. Myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack, occurs when there is an obstruction of blood flow to a part of the heart, leading to ischemia and subsequent cell death. The most common cause of myocardial infarction is the rupture of an atherosclerotic plaque in a coronary artery, resulting in the formation of a blood clot. The lack of oxygen and nutrients in the affected region causes irreversible damage to the myocardium, leading to scar formation and potential complications. Angiogenesis and neovascularization are physiological processes that involve the formation of new blood vessels from pre-existing ones. Angiogenesis occurs during tissue growth, wound healing, and embryonic development. On the other hand, neovascularization refers to an aberrant formation of blood vessels, often observed in diseases such as diabetic retinopathy and cancer. Both processes are tightly regulated by various growth factors, cytokines, and extracellular matrix components. Heart valve diseases involve the dysfunction of one or more of the four heart valves, the mitral valve, tricuspid valve, aortic valve, and pulmonary valve. The impairment of valve function can lead to conditions such as regurgitation, stenosis, or a combination of both. Valve diseases can be congenital or acquired, with causes ranging from infections to autoimmune disorders. Histologically, these conditions are characterized by alterations in valve structure, inflammation, and tissue remodeling. Vascular smooth muscle cells, VSMCs, are contractile cells found in the walls of blood vessels. They play a crucial role in regulating vascular tone and blood pressure. VSMCs can undergo phenotypic modulation, transitioning between a contractile and a synthetic phenotype. This phenotypic switch is associated with changes in cell morphology, gene expression, and the production of extracellular matrix components. Dysregulation of VSMC function contributes to vascular diseases such as atherosclerosis and restenosis. Platelets are small, a nucleate cell fragments derived from megakaryocytes, and they play a critical role in hemostasis. Upon vascular injury, platelets become activated, leading to the release of granules containing various mediators such as ADP, thromboxane A2, and serotonin. These mediators promote platelet aggregation, vasoconstriction, and recruitment of other platelets to the site of injury. Dysregulated platelet activation and aggregation are implicated in thrombotic disorders such as deep vein thrombosis and myocardial infarction. Congenital heart defects are structural abnormalities of the heart that are present at birth. They can involve the heart chambers, valves, major blood vessels, or a combination of these. Congenital heart defects arise from disruptions in the normal development of the cardiovascular system during embryogenesis. They can range from mild defects, which may not require intervention, to complex anomalies requiring surgical correction. 
Histological examination of congenital heart defects provides insights into the underlying pathophysiology. Experimental cardiology utilizes various animal models to investigate cardiovascular diseases, develop therapies, and gain a better understanding of disease mechanisms. These models include rodents, rabbits, dogs, and pigs, among others. Scientists induce cardiovascular pathologies in these animals through methods such as surgical interventions, genetic modifications, or chemical induction. Histological analyses of these models provide valuable insights into the phenotypic and molecular changes associated with cardiovascular diseases. Transplantation in the cardiovascular system involves the surgical replacement of diseased or failing organs, such as the heart or blood vessels, with healthy ones from a donor. Cardiac transplantation is considered the gold standard treatment for end-stage heart failure. The histological examination of transplanted organs allows for assessment of graft rejection, vascular remodeling, and potential complications such as graft atherosclerosis. To better understand cardiovascular disorders, it is essential to grasp the histological aspects of the cardiovascular system. By exploring various topics, we shed light on the underlying mechanisms and pathological changes. Histology aids diagnosis, research, and therapeutic strategies in cardiovascular medicine. Thank you for your attention.